a Walmart somewhere in Washington on our way to Seattle and we just had to stop because we can get pretty close to all these cows. It looks like a decently sized dairy farm, similar to the other one. Look at these beautiful, they're so cute. They look young. Oh my God, they're cute. It's such a shame that they have ear tags because that means that whoever owns them sees them as nothing more than a product to profit out of. scary human. I'm a vegan though, so I'm a nice one. <laughs> Could you be any more cute? Could you be any more cute? Hi. <laughs> They're so scared of me, but so curious. Hi. So cute. Why are you so cute? I know. Why are you so cute? Look at him. Look at him trying to get to you. I mean, if these are all females, then you have to say that, you know, the same amount of males that were born around the same time have been killed, right? I yeah, mean, they're not, they can't, they can't control which, which, you know, sex is being born. I mean, technically they can, like, they can take the sperm and do, like, sexing, but, I mean, that's, I that think, involves, like, a lab and resources, so, you know, not all of them are able to do that. No, because dairy is a dying industry, it's not a profitable industry. The only reason that dairy products are so cheap is because of government subsidies and taxpayer dollars, including vegan taxpayer dollars. I just hate how they have to put their head through that tiny space to eat. sure to watch dairy is scary here on youtube anyway we arrived in seattle and we stayed two nights with a friend of keegan's mom more tofu scrambles yep and then potatoes yep try one i will
personally think that we should have a sign in the window every time we're parked. So I'm gonna start doing that. It's like really beautiful here in Seattle. I'm not surprised at all. This is one of the few places I've really had a desire to come to. actual bay or ocean or whatever. where he was found. <laughs> Can we just take a minute to appreciate how beautiful these trees are? Like, Everything here just looks so dope. There's people doing some sort of construction stuff at it right now, so that's always cool. <laughs> this is the other bench. You should have wrote something. Ha, fuck Courtney. So this other bench over here, someone wrote, can this be the Lane Staley bench? And I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> that there was like all these little trails around it. Took 
taking a nice walk down to the water. God, the trees here. I cannot get over how cool the trees are. Whoa. So here's the bay. Is this a lake? Oh, it's a lake. Wait, hold on, look. Yeah, it says Lake Washington. This park and this building is kind of cool. They got some camels. There's people dropping their food in there. Got some casual witchcraft going on. Is this bitch a timer for you? I better not sit on it. Yeah, what's up with this? I don't know. They're doing some witchcraft. It's a time machine. Don't, Keegan, it's a time machine. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> Where'd the space needle go? I saw it earlier. Where? Oh, I could see it through the... That's the Seattle Space Needle. A greenhouse? Or whatever the fuck? Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, is that like an aloe vera plant? These amazing trees. What is that? That? Mm -hmm. I made that up. Really? Yeah. Wow. That finger pattern? Yeah, I made that up. about to head out from the lady's place that we were staying at. She was a very nice friend of Keegan's mom here in Seattle. And I don't like to vlog too much when I'm staying at people's places. We're probably gonna hit up a Planet Fitness so that I can work out and or do some yoga. Um, and then we're headed to, I forget what national park, but somewhere in Washington, so that'll be cool. Um, I've definitely been learning a lot about myself, about my relationship, and everything. Um, so I wanted to talk about those in the vlog as well. I don't ever want to be dishonest or present like a fake life that's always perfect or something. There have been hard times, like it's hard to live in such close proximity with someone, especially if you're like such an introvert like me not getting that alone time I've learned has really taken a toll on me and um, we've also like had a fight recently that left me emotionally draining of course I'm not gonna like be in the mood to vlog when stuff like that's going on and I don't think I should but like I just feel like I need to be honest about that in order to like represent this trip and my life more authentically I don't ever want to be like oh my life is so great I just road trip all the time and everyone's always happy you know what I mean it's time to shower again at another planet fitness this is how we bathe when we're on the road 
stay at like a rainforest of some <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> I just look over and you have like seven crackers <laughs> in your mouth. Man, just gotta eat hummus, bitch. <laughs> Alright, bitch was very not PC. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, vlog. Um, so we're going to a rainforest. We're right? going. All right, so we're going to Olympic National Park. As you can tell, the camera person has no idea where we're going. <laughs> um, we're going to Olympic National Park, but we're going to go to the forest first. Because in the forest, you can stay for free. And it's a rainforest. Yeah, that's what I've bitch and said. <laughs> All right, you got like half a clue. Oh, my God. We have a, a dashboard pumpkin, finally. <laughs> So we passed through Aberdeen and it was really surreal because it looked just like it does in all the documentaries I've watched on Kurt Cobain. On our way back from this rainforest, we're gonna stop there and look at a few things, but that's gonna be in the next vlog. So this is like an actual rainforest. And the trees look wild. There's a lot of like stuff growing on. And it's 53 degrees, so it's gonna be super So we just pulled into a camping spot and it is so nice here. It's so quiet and it smells like heaven. It smells like burning wood, but like really nice burning. 